Hey y'all, Sarah Lee Who here, and we are back again with Danganronpa V3 Kill and Harmony. So, last episode's attempt to rescue Kaido from Kokichi's evil clutches kind of didn't end so great. We found a body, probably Kokichi, I am assuming, um, crushed to death inside of a hydraulic press. Well, actually, it wasn't crushed to death. The death had to have been from possibly crossbow or poison or something else that was going on in the bathroom. But the body was crushed in the hydraulic press, and we saw Kaito's sleeve sticking out of it. I am thinking, though, that it was probably some kind of plot with Maki, Himiko, and Kaito to kill Kokichi and hopefully end the killing game, which seems to have backfired. I'm also suspicious that Kokichi is either not the mastermind or not the only remnant of despair that is in the group with us at the moment because ugh. because I'm pretty certain that Kokichi is the murder victim and I am pretty certain that there's somebody else out there because Monokuma is still going and it can't be Kokichi controlling them so somebody else has to have their hooks and all of this but anyway let's go through our skills which let's see I have a couple slots, I think. Uh, or maybe I don't? Do I have nine? Can I, can I buy it? I haven't bought these in a while, sorry. Uh, keyword for in this first speaker's argument will be shown from the start. Hmm. Let's see, the entire screen will light up more frequently, effective during Hangman's Gear Bit. That would probably help with time. Clear mine increases the amount of letter cues that can be acquired at once. Well, I would like that. That would make the psych taxi go a lot quicker. And then I have five more, so I can use like one more thing. High tension. Tinge gauge will increase at a fast rate effective during arguments. Okay, that sounds great. And that's all we can load up in there. Alright, let's get a look at our handbook, look into all of our 50 million clues. And so, I'm pretty sure I have at least the bare bones of how this all went down for the most part. But we will get through that in the trial, I suppose. The victim's body was discovered in the hangar where the exosol is stored. The victim was crushed by a hydraulic press. Correction, the victim's body was crushed by a hydraulic press because there's an on mag function not to crush living things. For this reason, their remains can't be identified. Swipe pattern blood stain. A blood stain that is speared from the hangar's bathroom to the hydraulic press, as though someone thing or something was dragged. Yeah. Hence the body. Oh, what was that? Okay, it just, like, jumps. That's interesting. Um, that was weird for a minute. It would, just wouldn't move. Alright, safety function. The hydraulic press safety function causes it to stop when its infrared sensor detects a living thing. Hence, that ties into the Monokuma file number five. Alright, hatches. Come on. Need a scroll. <laughs> uh, just electronic lock. The two exosols at the scene of the crime. One is, wasn't stored with its cockpit closed, and the other was in the middle of the hangar with its hatch open and its cockpit exposed. How indecent. There. Oh, now you just jump. Alright, <laughs> now. Where'd it go? There. Went the wrong way. Um. Let's see, exposed. There's enough space in the cockpit for one person. There is an electronic lock on the la hatch that only the monocubs can open. And we know from Kibo's testimony, or interview, whatever you want to call it, that uh, he saw one of the exosols passing through the barrier without any issue. Which means that the exosols don't set off alarms and all that good stuff. Alright, three arrows. Found on the floor of the hangar's bathroom. The tips of the arrows are wet with blood. Koki changed blood, perhaps. Crossbow. Disassembled crossbow from the Ultimate Assassin's Research Lab. It was stored in a large black case. It was complicated to assemble and would be difficult for anyone who wasn't taught how. You know, like me and Kaito by Maki. Alright, small empty bottle found in the corner of the bathroom. The label is stained with blood, so only visible word is poison. 
determined to have come from the Ultimate Detective's research lab. Blood stain in the bathroom. A small puddle of blood in the middle of the hangar's bathroom. Small blood stains were found leading to the door out of the bathroom. A window roughly eight inches wide. Although it's too small for a person, um, an object could fit through it. You know, like a small black case containing a crossbow smuggled in by Himiko. A case that was disassembled with a crossbow in it. A crossbow does not fit in the case unless it's disassembled. Kaido's coat. When the body was discovered, only the left sleeve was sticking out from the hydraulic press. A single small hole can be seen where the sleeve is sticking out. That's the thing that's still kind of throwing me, because that seems like it's a very important detail, but I don't know what it is just yet. I'm thinking that maybe Kokichi stabbed him with one of the crossbow bolts during the attack, and that... I'm assuming that they were dipped in poison and that the bottles that were left out on our desk with all the antidotes and stuff was a desperate attempt to get some kind of antidote to him. Okay, hangar's front shutter. It is protected by an electric barrier and if someone approaches it, an alarm will sound throughout the academy. The alarm can be disabled with the alarm remote. The control panel for the electric barrier is next to the shutter and has marks on it as though it was struck by something sharp. Hmm. Kipo's account. The night before the body was discovered, Himiko was seen going to the hangar and coming back before the exosaws returned. She had a black bag with her on the way there, but she didn't have it when she came back. Use the electro hammer. Found under the ground near the three exosaws in the cyber courtyard. The electro hammers can disable any electronic device they're used on. However, they run out of power very quickly, and a single use on an exosaw will completely drain an electric hammer. After being drained, they require 24 hours of recharging to be able to be used again. Hexasols protecting Monokuma. The day before the body was discovered, the Hexasols surrounding Monokuma in the courtyard were given commands to observe his movements via the remote control that Kokichi had. An electrobomb. When used, it scatters particles that interfere with electromagnetic waves, rendering electronic communication and sensors unusable. Lasts about two hours and covers an area of 50 yards. Each one can be used only once. Of the three, they were made. Kokichi had two and Maki had one. And that's all she needed in order to get access. <laughs> Poison! There are many poisons lined up on the shelves in the Ultimate Detectives Research Lab. Out of all of them, only Strike 9 Poison Bottle had less poison in it. It takes some time for Strike 9 to fully take effect, but it is 100% fatal, even a small amount, if even if a small amount enters the body. Kokichi's disappearance. No one has seen Kokichi during the entire investigation or up until the start of the class trial. And Kokichi's clothes were found stuffed in the toilet in the hangar's bathroom. Small holes were found in the back and trace and on one sleeve. Both holes had traces of blood around them. Which leads to my idea that he is dead. So dead. Alright. Begin that class trial. Now we have to prove that one of our greatest friends throughout this entire ordeal now is just a murderer. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. I mean, fair enough, murderer, but still murderer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, class trial, let's get During to it. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. See, question mark over Kaido. Vote correctly, Where's Kokichi? and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person... I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate. Graduation is meaningless here. We already know that. We don't need your rules anymore. We'll find our own reasons to live. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> we'll do whatever it takes to survive. I don't think he's going to be impressed. Wow! An actual talking robot! I've never seen one of those before. Ha, such a new thing. Seriously? <laughs> he doesn't care, Keeves. What happened to Kokichi? Why isn't he here? Oh, that sounded convincing, that Maki. <laughs> this case has some unique circumstances. Unique circumstances? Because for this murder, the victim's identity is completely unknown. It's also kind of weird that they have the question mark sideways on Kaido. Given these circumstances, I decided to start 
start off this quest trial while the victim is still anonymous. After all, it'd be a shame if I let such a rare opportunity go to waste. So you'll bring him in in the second half. Is that possible? I thought everyone had to participate in the class trial. Participate, yes, but not in the entirety, perhaps. <laughs> Don't worry. The person who's still alive is waiting behind the scenes for their cue. It's all part of the overall production. Anyway, let's get this trial moving! I guess we have no choice but to start the trial under these conditions. What's there to even talk about? The Blacken is the mastermind, Kokichi. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of, too. It's too soon to decide anything for certain. We don't even know if Kaito was the victim. I have strong suspicions that he was not. How long are you going to say that? The victim is Kaito. End of discussion. I think you'd be a little more torn up about that, Maki. But we need to be absolutely sure if we don't positively identify the victim. Then we could all die for nothing. The person will never show themselves, right? Before we can identify a suspect, we need to determine who the victim is. Why are we even talking about something so obvious? What a pain. Because it ain't obvious, my dear child. It ain't obvious. Everyone thinks that Kaido is the victim, but I have my doubts. There's a chance Kaido is still alive, as much as I hate to say it. If we keep discussing this case, I'm sure we'll see the truth. Monokuma file number five, hydraulic press, Kaido's coat. Has to be Kaito. Kaito was taken Kokichi's clothes. Kokichi. Kokichi's disappearance. So could've killed him whenever he wanted. And the hydraulic press had his clothes inside. Mm hmm Kokichi can't be the victim because there's no evidence for it. So the victim must be Kaito. And the culprit must be Kokichi! You lost a really good guy today. Kazing! If only mages could cast revive spells. Maybe Kokichi's disappearance. There's no evidence that allows us to confirm the victim or survivor. It's too de early to clear who the victim is. The victim yeah. has to be Kaito. I'm guessing Kokichi's disappearance. Kokichi. That's not wrong. So could have killed him whenever he wanted. And the hydraulic press had his clothes inside. Kokichi can't be the victim because there's no evidence for it. Oh, that was it. So the victim must be Kaito. Nope, missed it. <laughs> and the culprit must be Kokichi. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think I, I think it's supposed to be Kokichi's disappearance with her. The victim. Come on. What the heck? I'm trying! <laughs> what even happened there? Oh no, do I have that stupid auto lock on, don't I? Alright, give me a minute. <laughs> oh, no, okay. So that wasn't it. If Kokichi had died, then we would have found his body, or at least a trace of his body. We didn't even find anything of this, but we have Kaito's clothes. But yeah, we also have Kokichi's clothes. Maybe that's it, with blood. Oh no! Oh, right off the bat. <laughs> the victim has to be Kaito. Okay, Kaito Kaido's cloak, Kokichi's coat. Yeah, that's true. Kokichi can't be the victim because there's no evidence for it. So the victim Ah, dang! Why am I so bad at this today? <laughs> All right, one sec. Okay, yep, that was it. <laughs> Goodness, I don't know what's going on with my aim. It's just terrible. <laughs> I have evidence that points to Kokichi being the victim. I found this in the hangar. Bloody oh, clothes! Is that Kokichi's coat? Yes, and look here. There are blood stains on the sleeve. That would indicate that Kokichi suffered an external injury, correct? Kokichi was injured? The fact that these were flushed down the toilet implies that they are evidence of a crime. What about it? Kaito's clothes were in the hydraulic press. As long as we have that evidence, there's no doubt that Kaito was the one murdered. All that we have is a sleeve and no other marks are than one slight little hole in his arm sleeve. Whereas this one has blood all over the back of it. <laughs> yeah. With multiple that's holes. Right. It's one of those irrefutable evidence thingies. Oh, sweet child, no. 
Ever since she found the body in the hangar, Maki's insisted that it's Kaito's. But why is that? I thought we had an understanding. I thought she'd want to believe Kaito was still alive. None of it means killing him, Shu Shu. That should be kind of... Whatever. Either way, it seems Maki is hung up on Kaito's clothing. In that case, I need to demonstrate the flaw in relying on that evidence. If I do that, I think she'll realize there's a chance Kaito is alive. Actually, there's something bothering me about the clothes found in the hydraulic press. Hmm? What about them? There's something peculiar about those clothes. Um, the owner of the clothing, the sleeve of the jacket, the blood stain on the clothing? The hole in the sleeve, maybe? That's the only peculiar thing. I mean, there's no doubt who the owner is, and... Why was only the sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press? Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking more of the hole, but whatever. Crushed by the press, the sleeve shouldn't have been empty. There should have been an arm inside the sleeve as well. But to be fair, Kaido didn't exactly wear his sleeve on his arm. That was just kind of floating around on the back end, so wasn't it? So the fact that we found an empty sleeve should. Shall I kill that logic? Yeah. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> You're dumber than I thought if I have to go out of my way to explain it to you. If you can't even see that, then be quiet. Otherwise- Oh, sorry. You just annoyed me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> my finger's a little trigger happy. Want to come a file, hydraulic press. Sticking out of the hydraulic press. It's rather telling. Whoa. It couldn't have been anyone else. But Kaito, if you can't see that, then you weren't looking hard enough. I wasn't looking hard enough. What do you mean? He always dressed himself in a rather odd manner. He never put his arms through his coat sleeves. True. So when the hydraulic press crushed him, all that stuck out was his coat sleeve. If you understand to be quiet already, otherwise you're getting in the way. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Maki's claim appears solid, but I know that's not it. Give me one second, I just got a phone call that I need to return. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. I'm probably going to have to duck away in a minute again, but... For now, let's see. Maki's claim is solid, but I know that's it. Not... It's not. What? She's wrong. We can't conclude Kaido is dead on that evidence. Alright, Monokuma file, hydraulic press, Kaido's clothes. Swipe pattern, bloodstain, bloodstain in bathroom. If you understand to be quiet already. Well, otherwise you're getting in the way. It has to be I mean, she's not wrong there. But. If there's anything, it'll probably be in a rather odd the coat. He never put his arms through his coat sleeves. Yep, okay, that works. <laughs> yes, it's true. Kaito never put his arm through his sleeve. But that was just his right arm. He wore his left sleeve normally. Oh, yeah. Dang. But wait. No, it would have been his right arm that would have been in the cr No, wait. What side were the buttons on? Show me the picture. And the left sleeve was the one we found outside the press. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Knowing how Kaito wore his coat, that's awfully strange, isn't it? Then maybe neither of his arms were through the sleeves. Huh? It's a possibility. In the end, your reasoning is full of holes. And there's that call I was just talking about. One second. Okay, just not great luck today. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, reasoning's full of holes. Stop getting in my way. I have to defeat Kokichi. Maki, what's really going on? Seems you've made up your mind that Kaido is definitely dead. But why would you do that? It's like Maki said, though. Kaito's gotta be the victim. Because if Kokichi, the mastermind, was dead... The killing game would be over. Yeah, that's true. Monokuma, hurry up and bring Kokichi here. We already know who the victim is. Huh? Already? You sure it's not too soon? 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's too soon. We need the suspect present now that he's the subject of our discussion. Guys, you are going to That's fuck us up so bad. I guess I'll bring him out now. Hey, Mr. Suspect! That's your cue! Oh shit. Are they in the exosol? Now I'm confused. <laughs> an exosol? What? Why is an exosol here? Haha. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. Seems like I gave you guys a scare, huh? What the hell? What is this? Is that Kaito's voice? It is Kaito's voice. Kaito? Then why Exosol? There's a lot going on, so I just hid in an Exosol and kind of dozed off. Uh huh. Why are you still in it, bud? <laughs> That's why I'm so late. Anyway, what's going on, guys? Oh, hold on. Then the one that died wasn't Kaito. Stupid. That was just a lie! Oh, it's just messing with us. It's pre-programmed, isn't it? <laughs> you guys thought I died? <laughs> I would never! No way! Mmm. <laughs> Kichi? I'm gonna live till I die. I'm gonna laugh instead of cry. Uh, okay. <laughs> How old are you? I thought as much. Your appearance right now is fit for a lowly asshole like you. <laughs> However, Maki did seem kind of shocked. You're getting so angry over me. <laughs> hmm. Is that really you, Kokichi? That's right, Cracker Jack. Seriously, how old are you? Then why are you hiding in there? Show yourself. Oh, this is more for self-defense. Little Miss Cranky Pants would kill me if I showed myself. I ain't buying this. I understand how you guys must feel. You can't believe it because I'm like this, right? <laughs> That's what I thought. In that case, I brought evidence. This is just a mess with us, right? Ta-da! The video camera. It was in the warehouse, but I brought it to the hangar, just in case. Man, that was a smart move. Thanks to this, I filmed it so everyone could see it clearly. Okay, now they've definitely thrown a wrench into my plans. <laughs> victim died. Well, what did you say? Alrighty then. Let's watch this shocking moment. Hey, Monokuma. Can you connect the video camera to the monitor? Roger that! Monokuma grabbed the camera from the Exocell, hooked it up to the courtroom's monitor, and played the tape for us. Well, let's see it. I clicked already. Oh shit. Well, that might have been... Can we replay the tape? <laughs> Because it, like, hesitated a moment there right as he was covered up before it came crashing down on it. Hmm. Huh? I think that tape's been doctored. Kaito? This is terrible. Why would something like this? I think it's to mislead us. I feel a little, sh like, sure in my beliefs. I have to. <laughs> But who would doctor the tape? Gonna... By the way, I'd like to add that this footage has not been doctored in any way. Okay, well shit. This video camera only has the basic functions. Just the play, record, and pause button so you can't edit after filming it. Well, there that's all you need though. Play, record, pause. You stop it as soon as it gets him covered, and you start recording again once you've stopped. It still doesn't exonerate 
any of this. And of course, I didn't <laughs> upload it to a computer to edit it either. Right, Monokuma? Oh, you can talk. Your answer is necessary for a fair discussion. I see. If it's necessary for a fair discussion, then I will answer. No trace of that footage was found on any of the computers inside the Academy. See, if it wasn't connected to any computer, then editing the footage would be impossible. Which means this footage is 100% real. Yeah, it can still be a camera trick, though. If that's the case, then it would seem our suspicions can be lifted. The body we found inside the hangar, crushed in the hydraulic press, is definitely Kaito. The murder video has been recorded in the monopad. Add to the truth bullet section of your blah blah blah. Whatever. Was that was that really him? Poor Kaito. I can't believe he died such a horrible death. He died with his guts and his brain splattered all over that machine. What was that voice, though, Hemi? <laughs> Stop it! Now I'm starting to not feel well. That's probably because I used my magic to transfer all my barf over to you. That's an actual I useful skill. Joke, <laughs> but the thought of it... <laughs> Why? Why was Kaido killed? Kokeshi had no reason to kill Kaido. He had just told us that he was the mastermind and that the killing game was over. So what would he gain by killing Kaido? <laughs> it looks like you Unless Kaido or Kokichi was trying to- Oh no no no, we are still talking about if, if Kokichi's a killer. No, 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 yeah. Yes. With that, we can definitively say that the culprit is- Hold it! You. No! Huh? Why? You filmed the moment the victim died. Which means you were present at the scene. As the person who filmed this footage, you're the only one who could be the culprit. But if the culprit shot the video, why would they go out of their way to show it? Yep. Oh man, you got me! Yeah, I'm the culprit. What? Jeez, I totally dug my own grave. Here's the truth. I decided to participate in this trial in an exosol after I killed Kaito. Of course, it was mostly to make the victim unknown. To jazz up this trial. I took that footage for proof, so I could reveal it after you guys get the correct answer. But, <laughs> I totally spaced out. I wasn't supposed to show it right away. So does that mean you admit to the crime? Oh, man. I dug my own grave again? Yeah, this is all a joke. <laughs> you guys will believe any of the excuses I make now. So, I give up. You're giving up? Does that mean it's been decided? Don't give in too easily, girls. Is it okay that this trial and is robot. so short? <laughs> That's fine. We knew from the very start that Kokichi was the killer. But before we vote, I want to say something to Kokichi. You may be the mastermind, but I won't let you escape after you violated the rules. That would desecrate the killing game Junko and Ashima created, right? Your beloved Junko and Oshima. Junko? Mm. Whatever. It's voting time now. Let's go before Kokichi changes his. Yep. No, hold on a See, second. See, that was. This isn't right. That's the giveaway right there. <laughs> the culprit comes in, confesses to the crime, and the trial ends? That's not how this goes. That doesn't sound like the kind of game Kokichi or Monokuma or Junko would play. What if the mastermind got tired of it? The remnants of despair were like that. No, if they were tired of it, they wouldn't have put all that effort into the video. There would have been no need for this class trial in the first place. Exactly. Something's not right. We need to get a better feel for this situation. I think Kokichi has some sort of plan. He's trying to trap us. Trap us? Are you saying Kokichi isn't the culprit? Then, are you suggesting one of us is the culprit? Huh! Didn't know I could do that! <laughs> okay, yeah! <laughs> what? If it's not Kokichi, then the culprit must be one of us. Yes, but one of us who may or may not be here at the moment inside of the Nexus Hall? That's not possible! I'm not saying it was you guys. 
No, I didn't say that. I was just saying it's dangerous to trust Kokichi. <laughs> Shuichi is so distrusting. But it's exactly like Shuichi said. I'm actually not the culprit. Mm. Seriously? What? But that contradicts what you said previously. When has Kokichi ever been known to be truthful? <laughs> yeah, first, that was a lie. Sorry, I lied again. The real culprit of this case is super bad at hiding themselves, so I thought I could help. I pretended to be the culprit by using the footage! It made the game more interesting, too. Uh, are you serious? I don't know. <laughs> what's the truth and what's a lie? I don't know anymore. Well, we'll figure it out. It's fine. Because Kokichi is the culprit. He is not the culprit, Maki. Shush! Killed Kaito. No matter how much he deceives us, it won't change our mind. Yeah, we'll change one. <laughs> but it shows he did it. Kokichi has to be the only option. He can't be. The only option? Is that really true? Are we just going to leave it at that? Alright, what do I get here? Hydraulic press, safety function, blood stain, the bathroom, crossbow, There's and murder no video. Kokichi is the culprit. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to death. Nope, can't been crushed to death. Horrible video. Because we Whoever have a safety function. Was with Kaito in the hangar. No doubt about that. Which just leaves Kokichi then. Hmm. Yeah, probably. The culprit is Kokichi Oma, the mastermind of this entire killing game, and Kaito's killer. Kokichi killed Kaido with the hydraulic press. That's the consensus right now. But is it even that There's even no possible? Doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. We all saw from earlier, right? Kaito got crushed to death. Did he? Can't be crushed to death. Nah, -uh, ah, Himiko. <laughs> the safety function would make it impossible to kill Kaito with the press. Yep, he would have had to have already been dead. Yes, it was written on the safety precautions. The hydraulic press will automatically stop if its infrared sensor detects a living organism. So the hydraulic press won't move at all if there's a living person under it? Which is why it couldn't have been used to kill Kaito. Which means it's more likely that Kaito was crushed after being killed by some other means. Yep, there it goes. It hesitates video. again. He was already dead by then? But you could disable the infrared sensor of the safety function with an electro bomb. No. I don't think Kokichi would use an electro bomb for that purpose. It would have taken down the hangar's alarm system and Exosol's remote control. It would have put Kokichi at a significant disadvantage. But you can't be too sure I wouldn't do that. I'm the type who would do anything for fun. Also, we don't have any evidence of a different murder method other than the hydraulic pro- Eh, I no, have plenty of evidence. <laughs> a plausible theory for the murder. What? Yes, there is a clue that suggests the victim was killed before being crushed. A couple clues, actually. I found it somewhere around the hydraulic press. Let's see, we have the swipe blood stain. That's probably it. Because the other stuff is in the bathroom. This is it! There was a swipe pattern blood stain in the hangar, suggesting a body was dragged. The blood stain goes from the bathroom all the way to the press. Yep, and there's a lot of blood in the bathroom, too. Oh, that was the restroom where Kaido was being held, wasn't it? Yep. Making all the more suspicious. Blood stains were also found inside the bathroom. That can't be coincidence. So Kaito was killed in the restroom, then dragged to the press and crushed? If the blood stain even was Kaito's. Oh, are we willing to second guess? Maki, did you have. Hmm. I feel like she had something to do with it, but then her shock. With the cool Kaido Exosol, and then actually even opening up to the possibility now is making me think maybe I'm wrong and off base what? there. But the electro hammer and all that, that had to have been 
We only guessed that Kaito was killed in the bathroom. Since his body was crushed, we'll never know if Kaito died some other way. I mean, we have footage of what his body looked like beforehand, so... We might not be able to examine the body, but we do have evidence that suggests cause of death. This, this, the hole in the sleeve, maybe? There. Yes. Because <laughs> I mean, he had the puncture with his arm too. The small hole on the sleeve of Kaito's coat is the key to his cause of death. Small hole. But you're getting us off on a tangent here, Shushu. I don't think that that could have killed him. No, no, no. There is no way that hole's got anything to do with a weapon. Did I say weapon, Himiko? <laughs> I hit you with my everything you buy will go on sale the next day, curse. That is evil. <laughs> Himiko, what's wrong? Why are you freaking out all of a sudden? Indeed, why? I'm not freaking out. You're totally freaking out. I'm just saying it's impossible for the weapon to be that small. Really? Because I found a bunch of stuff that small. No, it's not impossible, and I can show you. The weapon that left that small hole in Kaido's sleeve was an arrow. Or was it the crossbow? It's technically the arrow, but they were fired from the crossbows. Nope, okay, yep, it was the crossbow. Arrow's in the bathroom. What can you do with just an arrow? Are you saying they stabbed him with it? Damn it! Everyone's staring at me. I think I screwed up. Oh, they think I'm a fraud. The embarrassment. So, yeah. Okay, fine. You can be stabbed with that, I imagine. But if you need it, you have the crossbow. This is it! I believe the weapon was the crossbow found in the bathroom. <laughs> A crossbow arrow would certainly leave a hole that small. Indeed it would. Can we then conclude that Kaito was shot with that crossbow? Yeah, maybe. So, yes. that crossbow just might be the actual murder weapon used to kill Kaito. I see. It's so surprising that a crossbow is the murder weapon. Really? What's wrong? She's in on it. She probably needs to pee. Anyway, about Kaito getting shot. If that was his cause of death, then I wonder who shot him with the crossbow. Well, I already know, but I won't tell you. He's just playing with us. Could somebody have stood at the window and shot it? Because that might exclude him from actually being the killer. Then let's show him that playtime. I think we could only get our faces in there, though. Let's show him that the students of Hope's Peak Academy will never submit to despair. Hope? Despair? Alright, bloodstained bathroom crossbow three arrows, bathroom window hangers, front shutter. Shot Kaito with the crossbow. What a mystery, right guys? Who else but you could have done it? The shot would need to be fired. From inside the hangar to hit Kaito. Eh. We can't no. go in the hangar. <laughs> It couldn't have been in the hangar because it's placed in the bathroom. If we couldn't go in the hangar, and we do have the bathroom window. If Kokichi had been in there, then he must be the one. I see. So I'm the culprit. No, no, you're not. Kaito would have been in there, but the murder weapon was a crossbow. Knowing that, we should be able to visualize the murder. I wonder who shot Kaito with the crossbow. What a mystery, right? Who else but you? That would need to be fired from inside the hangar to hit Kaito. Ah, uh, dang it! We ah, but <laughs> I was trying to free do it because stupid auto lock makes it all weird, and I can't hit the little small words in the way. Yep, yep, yep. From inside the hangar. There we go. That's wrong. Eat my truth. Even without going in the hangar, it was possible to land a shot with a crossbow. If you were super tall, had good aim, and were by like the window per se. There was a window in the bathroom of the hangar. Because I mean, we were like on our toes, weren't we? In, but you could have shot through the window. 
And remember that Kaito was confined to the bathroom. So if they shot Kaito through the window, they could have killed him in the hangar. Which means the murder suspect list grows to six people, including me! <laughs> what did you say? But put plainly, that means... It seems Shuichi wants to make one of us the culprit. Is that it? That's not what it is, Maki. Is that what a detective does? <sighs> you are making my job so difficult, Missy. Huh? Do detectives always accuse people, even when they're friends? Well, when it comes at the cost of killing all my other friends, probably Maki. <laughs> it seems like it. You suspected Kaito in the previous class trial, too. You're always suspicious of your friends. I mean, in this situation, with good reason. <laughs> What's wrong, Maki? You seem like you're kind of on edge. Of course I am. When we said we would defeat the remnants of despair, someone got in our way. No, you don't understand. I'm not trying to... It doesn't matter how much you get in my way. I will absolutely defeat Kokichi. I won't let despair escape. I won't let it win. Now, now. Let's but you are. Let's stop this fight and continue on with the not-so-boring trial. So we all agree that the murder could be done by anyone and not just me, right? Yeah. That might be true, but I didn't know about the window. Nobody said you did, Himiko. Neither did I. Really, Himiko? What's the matter? You've been weird since we mentioned small holes. What? Are you after my small hole, too? Gross. <laughs> See? Now that's definitely weird. Thank you, Smoogie. <laughs> Look at it this way. Just because the culprit could be anyone, not everyone is a suspect. We can pretty much narrow it down to anyone who knew about the crossbow. Which would include Himiko and me, and Maki. <laughs> yes, you did! In other words, I'm not suspicious. There's no way you can consider me. It does concern me that Himiko went to the hangar last night. Hey, hey, ho, Kibo. <laughs> Yeah, she, he he knew about that. See, so you thought you were being. Yeah, she's not very good at it though. Whoa, really? You went to the hangar, Himiko? Yes, she did. I definitely saw her. You, you were watching me. We were watching the hangar, not you. But. It's awfully suspicious <laughs> that you went to the hangar last night. Okay, then the culprit is Himiko. Wait! More suspicious than I am. Oh, why is Maki more suspicious? What? <laughs> that crossbow came from your research lab, right? How do you know about that? You could have gotten that crossbow whenever you wanted. I mean, to be fair, she's the only one that has weapons, but still. <laughs> Anyone could have gone to her research lab, though. She's not the only suspect. I don't know about that. She's definitely the most suspicious. Yeah, but I mean, we saw you with the bag. <laughs> Because if you start panicking, then we'll know that you're the culprit. I said I'm not the culprit! I swear! Kokichi's the suspicious one! Maki too! They're both the culprit! Oh, I'm sweet Himmy. <laughs> Anyone could have entered my research lab. Yeah. Yeah, I'll admit that I'm suspicious. Okay, maybe I am the culprit. Maybe I'm the culprit! The culprit. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's see, mass panic debate. Hatches, electronic, locks, Monty Bato, Kipos, account, exosols, protecting Monokuma, poison. Okay. There's a good magic source around there. So I went there empty hand. Oh, wait, there's something. Kokichi did. Yeah, I'm thinking probably that. Okay, we should look at the inconsistencies in her testament. Yeah, it has to be her then. There's a lie in there somewhere. I still want to hear the rest of them though. I mean, we have time to kill, right? Did not come from me. Anyone could have gotten it from her research lab. Then who actually number one? Kokichi did, of course. 
Diva Wiley listen to Kokichiba. Oh, uh, we should look for inconsistency in her testimony. Alright. I'm just gonna get on with it. Yeah. There we go. Ah, I missed it. Ah, dang it. Missed again. Did I have it even? Yeah, I have a keeper's count. I just gonna have to slow my roll a bit. Go, go, go! What? Oh no! I was wrong. Terribly wrong. Possibly? No, I wasn't! Ha! <laughs> I just hit the wrong letters. You said that you went to the hangar empty handed. But that's a lie, isn't it? He had a big black bag. Full of crossbow about? parts. <laughs> oh, but not a lie, sorry. Saw you. He said you were headed toward the hangar carrying a large black bag. Yes, Himiko was definitely carrying a large black bag. Th no, that was probably Sumugi cosplaying as me. Sumugi can't cosplay as anyone she breaks out in hives, Himiko. You know I can't cosplay as someone unless they're a fictional character. Himiko, this is the bag you were carrying, isn't it? That's the crossbow case. There's no mistake. That is the bag I saw Himiko carry. <laughs> what? Want to talk about this, Hemi? Hold on. Himiko went to the hangar with a crossbow? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, just talk about it. Uh oh. Well, it's decided then. Wait, that's wrong. Well, I do explain yourself. I believe you. Himiko is totally telling the truth. Not you. If you believe me, it makes me look like I'm lying. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. But can we really trust Himiko here? She was acting very suspiciously. Maybe if we let her tell her side of the story and what happened. It would be useful. Alright. Let's find the lie. Crossbow, three arrows, a small empty bottle, like sauce protecting Monokuma, and poison. Yeah, I totally agree. I only carried the case. Mm hmm. Yep, yep, that's true too. And I didn't even use the crossbow. Mm hmm, another true story. I can agree with that, because you didn't know how to that's assemble it. Well. I didn't do anything else in the hangar. 100% exact, Amundo. Why does this all sound so fishy? <laughs> okay, to hit Kaido with the crossbow, you'd have to be fairly good with it and pretty tall to get through that window. Two things that Himiko is not. Could Himiko have done this? That's the question. No. I think she just was our little delivery lady. Mm hmm. Ah, miss! Miss! Let me hit it! Let me! Dang you! <laughs> Dang, it dipped. It dipped hard. Yep, yep, yep. Himiko used the crossbow. More accurately, she couldn't use it. Only three people here know how to assemble that crossbow. Couldn't use it? Why not? Well, height for one, but... <laughs> the crossbow inside this case was disassembled. Mm-hmm. Kaito and I learned how to assemble the crossbow from Maki, so we could have done it. But I don't believe someone without the proper training could have assembled it. Well... What if Maki taught Himiko how to assemble the crossbow? Also another suspicion. He didn't teach me that! Right, Maki? Maki? What's wrong? Are you mad about before? You asked her to deliver it, didn't you, Maki? Sorry. I thought 
they were gonna suspect me. So Oh no, you're talking about accusing her. I really have to question your morals if you're blaming Maki for your lie, Himiko. I don't think you're allowed to say something like that. I'm sorry, Maki. Please, can you tell them the truth? Fine. I'm not going to lie. All right. I didn't teach Himiko how to assemble the crossbow. She couldn't have used it. All right. So that leaves only two other, well, three people still, but not me. <laughs> Never doubted you, hit me. Okay, Can maybe a little. So <laughs> I think I might have whiplash now. Then why did you bring the crossbow to the hangar, Himiko? I was asked to. By asked to. Perhaps the person who asked was do do Kokichi Kaido Maki Kiro. I'm starting to doubt Maki, so I'm going to assume Kaito. Yes. <laughs> That's it. In the wrong button. <laughs> Was it Kaito? Huh? Kaito? Only Kaito or Kokichi would have asked for a crossbow to be brought to the hangar. And she wouldn't do it for Kokichi. And I'm thinking Maki might actually be a bit more ignorant than I initially thought. Because Kaito knows how to assemble the crossbow, he certainly could have used it. Yep. Knowing that, I can't imagine that anyone else would have asked Himiko. I do not think she would bring it at Kokichi's request. Of course not. Why would I ever listen to Kokichi? Because I know you like me. Yeah. <laughs> nah, -uh. I hate you. But I like you. Uh. No. <laughs> hey, don't play with Himiko. Yeah, my God, no, Himiko. <laughs> But to think that Kaido asked Himiko to do that. Maybe Kaido is trying to keep the promise he we made yesterday? You know, you worry. I'll do something about all this. That's a promise. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. Yeah. No, he would have to pull something. Why were you keeping that a secret, Himiko? Well, Kaito sort of asked me to keep it a secret. Then Kaito died and... I got scared. I thought it was gonna be next. You're the worst for trying to pin the blame on Maki just for that reason. Maki, teach this dumb monkey the true terror of human beings. <laughs> Don't bully the person you like. Oh my god, Himiko, that was a lie. <laughs> Way beyond bullying a grade school crush. Himiko, when exactly did Kaito ask you to do this? Um... I think it was around evening yesterday. Well, we were all messing around by the lab. I was so nervous about fighting Kokichi, I couldn't get to sleep. So I took a walk near the hangar, and that's when Kaito called out to me. I got startled and wet myself a little. Okay, and then too much he asked info. Me to get him a crossbow. <laughs> um, that one part was a. Uh... You know what? Never mind. Sumugi, my spirit animal. <laughs> so if Kaito asked for a crossbow. Does that mean he was going to kill Kokichi? No, he said it was to disable Kokichi. I wouldn't have helped him otherwise. What do you mean disable him? I trusted Kaito and took a crossbow from Maki's lab. That's when I witnessed Himiko. But then, what did Kaito do after he had the crossbow? I don't know. I just handed him the crossbow then went right back to the dorm. Presumably, Kaito tried to attack Kokichi. Only to be disarmed of the crossbow. That's a mighty big assumption, Keeves. And then, Kokichi returns fire and shot Kaito. That sequence of events seems logical. That still doesn't explain how, you know, Kokichi's clothes are covered in blood and death. No, it happened a little differently. Both Kaito and Kokichi shot the crossbow. And there's proof of that. Let's see. Slight vibration, hanky, quick safe function, three arrows. Crossbows, small empty bottle, blood stains, bathroom window, that's right. Okay, Kaido's coat. Let's see. Metro bomb, poison, Kokichi's spirit, Kokichi's class. This is it! So Kaido was in the only one shot. Remember that when we found Kokichi's clothes, there were holes in the back and sleeve. Yep. All surrounded by blood. Kind of hole that was found in Kaito's coat. 
shot by the crossbow too? Clearly. And it was Kaito who shot him, right? Yep. Mm, I'm not sure. I don't remember anything like that. You don't remember whether or not you were shot? There is no doubt that they shot each other with the crossbow, but... It doesn't matter. Yes, it does! <laughs> it doesn't matter what happened in between. In the end, Kokichi killed Kaito. Because the alternative is too terrible to think about. Monkey's been acting strangely. But why? Does she know something? I don't know anymore! I figured that she did at the start, but then she was all surprised and... I don't know if she's in on this or not. Alright. So what does she know? Maybe Maki's right. It doesn't matter what happened in the middle. It does, though. But in the end, there's no mistake that Kokichi killed Kaito. Then let's hurry up and vote. No, no that was too eager. <laughs> there are still mysteries. Who cares about that? We already know who the culprit is. Not for certain, Missy. You sure about that? I don't think she is. Huh? What? <laughs> what? Now he's joining in? As the one running this trial, it bothers me when anyone says mysteries don't matter. Yeah, it's no fun, is it? It affects the overall entertainment value, so I encourage you to really think about things. After all, there should be some mysteries that still matter. Yeah, there are a couple. Example, is Kokichi really inside that Exosol? Stuff like that. Or is it just an Exosol that you programmed with a voice? Because I'm sure you can do that. <laughs> what? What are you saying? We already finished that discussion a while ago. Yeah, but we don't know for certain until we crack that sucker open, do we? Kokichi's gotta still be alive since the killing game's still going. You know. His voice is even coming from the Exosol and everything. Alas, rogue AI, other remnant of despair, etc, etc. There's a couple other options there, Hemi. But we heard it speak in Kaido's voice earlier, didn't we? We did. Yeah, don't rely on that. After all, this Exosol has a voice changer. It what? Because <laughs> <laughs> of that, nobody realizes I'm pretending to be Kokichi. But no more. Sorry for the wait, guys. The luminary of the stars has arrived. Ugh. This time for real. <laughs> what? What's going on? It's messing with us. I, I don't you, think I'm either of them in there. I was just pretending to be Kokichi, is all. There's a bit of a situation going on, so I didn't really have a choice. Sorry about tricking you guys like that. My bad. Huh? So Kaito's in there after all? Don't be stupid. How many times are you going to be tricked by him? That's Kokichi pretending to be Kaito. Or just a robot pretending to be both. Don't ever call me that! Whoa there, chill! You really think I'm Kokichi? I mean, I guess I am. She can't know, right? Sorry, I can't really get out of this thing right now. Why not? I can't move because of the injury I got from Kokichi. It's so bad I can't even stand. That's why I'm in this Exosol. Mm. Is that so? That wouldn't make any sense seeing as the entry was to the arm. But if you guys don't believe me, then we can't move on. So, you're up, Shuichi. Uh, what? Me? <laughs> Explain to everyone how I wasn't the one that died. I... Uh, Kaito is alive after all? No, oh, maybe that's just what I want to believe. Is it really true? What story does this evidence tell? Does that story end with Kaido or Kokichi being the victim? I need to give a well-reasoned answer to that question soon. I can't look away from the truth. The victim in this case is... It's... Kokichi, yeah? What? Most of the evidence we have no sh shows that Kaido is the victim. What? That's not what I said. Did I hit the wrong button? Huh? What's the matter, Shushu? You've got to say it with confidence. What? I can't look away from the truth. What did I... Am I lying?
I'm trying, I really am, but I can't think of anyone other than Kaido. Most of the evidence we have points to Kaido. Well, yeah, hey, but... What's the matter, Shuichi? Just hurry up and tell everyone why I'm not dead. Should be easy. Yeah, it should be, but he's being no, stubborn. I won't, because you're not Kaito. He's not Kokichi either, is he? Kaito is already dead. Is he? Despair will never die! <laughs> good, good! This is already more entertaining! My brain is broken, are we lying? <laughs> now, the Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial grounds! Alright, let's give it everything we've got! It's going to be interesting, seeing as there's not too many of us to actually be putting in the fight. <laughs> I have to say, there is something very nice about the classic look to this one. Which one is dead? It's Kokichi! It's Kaito. I can't believe I have to... I suspect Air that holes. Kaito is inside the Exosol. Okay. But he said that he can't leave the Exosol because he's injured. Is it possible that Kokichi got crushed instead of Kaito? Alive? Or like Mastermind, maybe. Shirt. I believe Kaito is still alive and defeated the Mastermind, but... Why are you so opposed to Kaito being alive? I... I don't know either. Alright. I want to believe that Kaito is alive too, but the video is definitive. We have nothing to counter it. Damn that Exosol. Why would he confuse us like I this? I suspect that Kaito is inside the Exosol. Exosol? I got this! Unless he comes out of the Exosol, we can't confirm True. That. That he can't leave the Exosol because he's injured. Injury. Anyone who knows about Kaito's injury can make that claim. Okay, what did Samugi have? Is it possible that Kokichi got crushed instead of Kaito? Crushed? Did you watch the footage? Kaito was the one who got crushed. But there was an arrow hole on Kokichi's shirt. I yeah, well, I got that too. Kaito's clothes had arrow holes too. They both did. Kaito is still alive. And alive? This, because the evidence doesn't support the claim that Kaito is still alive. Why are you oh, so nope. opposed to Kaito? I Sorry. This, I because the saw alive, thought it was alive. The claim that Kaito is still alive. I this one. I believe Kaito is still alive and defeated the mastermind, but... Got all of them but one, dang. <laughs> ah, yeah, when it, we have to accept the truth. Kaito is dead. I suspect that Kaito is inside the Exosol. Exosol. Unless he comes out of the Exosol, we can't confirm that. Yep, yep, yep. Injury. Anyone who knows about Kaito's injury can make that claim. Yep, yep. Crushed. Arrow holes, and then Kaito next one should be Mastermind after arrow holes. But there was an arrow hole on Yep. Kaito's clothes had arrow holes too. And mastermind. The mastermind is still alive inside that exosol. Why are you so? I got this. Because the evidence doesn't support the claim that Kaito is still alive. All right. Oh, wrong button. And the power of belief. There we go. Sushi, why flip flop? It's not like we were voting. I don't want to believe it. In a way, I still can't. But the evidence, the evidence shows that Kaito must be the one who died. But there's other evidence that, to support that he couldn't be the one that died. I hate it. I hate it so much. But it's the truth. You're giving into despair, you fool. I see. If that's the conclusion you've arrived at, Shuichi, then there must be no mistake. I don't buy it. Then the one here is... <laughs> Looks like I messed around too much. Sorry, that was just...
just a little joke. Mm. What a sick joke. You're still an asshole. I'm not buying it. And I can't forgive him. But we still need to stay calm, be rational. Because we need to get to the truth of Kaito's death. <laughs> yeah! Just keep calm and carry on! Why nervous? Why are you saying that? What part of that was calm? To mock the calmness? Getting back on topic. Why don't we examine the crossbow a little more closely? Yes, let's do that. I think we need to get all the facts straight so we don't fall for any more lies. <sighs> Please, Kibo, keep us on track here. Get Choo Choo out of this. <laughs> About what the crossbow? Okay, let's discuss that then. Why are you acting like you're in charge of things? So if we assume that Kaito and I shot each other with the crossbow, then the most efficient way to solve this is to set up a timeline of events. Fair enough. Hey, I said, why are you? Alrighty then, let the debate begin. I like that he gets his own stand on our side. Oh no, I wasn't paying attention. Crossbow, three arrows, electro bomb, used electro hammer, poison. The crossbow was in Kaito's possession first. He probably fired the first shot at Kokichi too. Then Kokichi disarmed Kaito, took the crossbow, and returned fire. I didn't take the crossbow from Kaito. I secretly brought a different one. But only one crossbow was taken. Yeah. The other two are still in my research lab. Also true. Still, only one arrow was fired. Not so true. How could they both shoot each other? By the way, crossbow shots hurt a lot. I bet my they do. Is still making something fierce. Because let's see, we had... What? What was that just now? I feel like that goes against the information I have. When the crossbow fired, I had three arrows and Kaido got hit once, Kokichi got hit twice. Uh-huh. But only one crossbow. Oh no, yeah, only one crossbow was taken. Sorry, sorry. I was looking at the wrong one. <laughs> oh no, my hills! When the crossbow fired, what was even going on? <laughs> it was Himiko that spoke, alright? I just saw skirts and thought, oh no! <laughs> yep. Other two are still in my reach. Mm hmm. Only one. There we go. That's wrong! I really want to turn off that auto lock if we get a chance. <laughs> Wait, Miko. What do you mean one arrow? Mm -hmm. Well, I only gave Kaito one arrow, so. Oh? Wait, what? Are you positive? Of course. There's no way I got that wrong. Okay, then how did we get three arrows? Well then, that's strange because. There were three arrows in the back room, remember? Three? I know I only gave him one! How? He told me to only bring him one. He said he wanted to avoid fighting. There were three arrows at the scene, but Himiko said that she only brought one. What is going on here? Um, maybe Kokichi had some hidden away? But why would he even bring them? Did he know that she had the crossbow? Why would Kichi have two arrows when he didn't have a crossbow to fire them? Also that. But we know for certain that three arrows were recovered from the scene. And all three arrows had blood on them. <laughs> and all together, their clothes had three perforations in them. Yep. So we know for certain that they shot three arrows at each other. Yeah. Then where did those arrows come from? I don't think the Himiko is lying. There must be some angle to this we haven't considered yet. What is it? What could have happened? Think! I need to think. Yay! Psych taxi! Oh god, mind palace! I got mind road!
Give me all them. Dang it. Oh, dang. Missed it. Okay, how many arrows did Himiko give Kaido? Yep. I believe she gave him one. Maybe he got them from other people? I don't know. This is a tough one. One. Okay. So where did he get the other ones from? Unless somebody else had to be in on it. Look at the Kokichi pictures! Ouch. Boom, boom. Were all the arrows inside the hangar from the lab? Is that what we're getting at? Oh. Were all the hangar- all the arrows inside the hangar from the start? Well, it's not like- I don't think so. He couldn't have planned that, right? Going- with no? Yay! Because he couldn't have planned that he was being left inside the hangar. Dang it. <laughs> Let me hit you! Who brought them arrows? Dang it. Who, are, who brought the two arrows? Give me some people. Kokichi, Himiko, third party. I'm thinking Maki, maybe. Because I'm still not sure. <sighs> Could it be that the additional arrows were brought in by a third party? A third party? She has to be evolved, right? So, someone besides Kokichi or Himiko? That's just a guess, though. There's no way a third party exists. If a third party did exist, why would they bring two arrows? That's also a good question. Kaido was the only one with a crossbow. I made sure I handed it to him. Kaito said he only needed one arrow. Clearly, he didn't want to fight. Yeah, that's right. So the other two arrows weren't for Kaito. They were for the third party to use themselves. Hmm. So the third party didn't hand the arrows through the window. Instead, they went into the hangar and shot the crossbow themselves? Impossible. There was an alarm system and an electric barrier around the hangar. Yes. Yeah. But there are ways the around that. Been completely closed off, right? It was completely closed off, but can we confirm that? I feel like there might be another way. Some way we haven't figured out yet. I'm overlooking something. Think! Think, damn it! What method did the third party use to enter the hangar? No oh joy, hangman's gambit. Yeah, sure. Oh, pro I know this one. Axisol, because. I A X S. Oh, come on. Oh, wait. I need an eye. Oh, come on. Give me an eye. S A L Cause you can see him just go on through. That's it. The Exosol. The Exosol could be used to enter the hangar. 
And we did have that hammer. We couldn't get in because of the alarm system and the electric barrier. But that shouldn't have been a problem for any of the exosols, right? So if you wanted to enter the hangar, all you had to do was pilot an exosol. And you know, use grenade. <laughs> then snatch the grenade off the body. Enter the hangar last night. So was this third party piloting it? Probably. By the way, I just want to confirm something with Monokuma. Would the alarm still go off if there was a person inside an exosol? Well, I wasn't trying to keep this secret, but since it's about the details of the hangar, I guess I can tell you guys. It makes sense that the alarm system and electric barrier wouldn't react to an exosol. After all, the hangar is where the exosols are supposed to be stored. It'd be a hassle to disable the security every time an exosol comes and goes, you know? Yep. So even if someone is inside an exosol, the security system wouldn't catch up. Okay, so probably no need for the bomb then. Does it be a hassle to leave the exosol every time you have to put it away? So it's like Shuichi said, a third party got in an exosol and entered the hangar? Sounds like it. Can just anyone pilot an exosol? Anyone with an electro hammer. Kokichi. It's surprisingly easy. If you use both hands, both feet, and both nipples, you can do it. Why? But what would they be used for? Nipples too! Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this third party commandeered an exosol and infiltrated the hangar. That same person must have brought the other two arrows with them. I told you that's impossible. Why? Explain to me. Why is There's it impossible? There's no way you can get through security if you pilot an exosol. It's not possible. Uh, they just said straight from Hadakuma's mouth that yeah, it's totally possible. What? Not possible. Maki, what are you talking about? What are you thinking? What do you know? Why are you trying to hide it so bad? Why? Why won't you tell me? Makuma file, had his electronic lock, electro bomb, used electro hammer, and exosol's protecting mover. Makuma. He's operating the exosol? Really that difficult? Well, you need your nipples, so. Do you even know how to get inside an exosol? Yes. Outside the hangar, there were four exosols. Mm -hmm. And they were all moving, too. Yes, yes, they were. I was controlling them remotely. Electro hammers weren't an option. But yesterday, all the hammers were still recharging. <laughs> one wasn't. There's no way to stop an exosol. So getting inside one would have been impossible. Nope. You're right, it's impossible! Alright, it's not impossible. There is one way to stop an exosol. I have to show them. If someone was piloting the exosol, I'm thinking this. They could have used it to enter the <laughs> Come on. Metro hammers weren't an option. Yesterday, all the hammers were. Yep. I can hit it. That's wrong. Not all of them. Not all of them, good sir. There was one that was used that was just left. Not all of the electro hammers were being charged. Also, stupid idea. Why not? Why leave it there? Like you had to know why I would have found that crab. <laughs> I know because I found one. There was a used electro hammer near Monokuma and the Exosol. And there is only one person who didn't have their electro hammer this morning. Maki. Is that electro hammer used by the third party? Yup. Maybe they used it to disable an Exosol. Yes, I think so. When I saw them last afternoon, there were four Exosols. And today there were only three. But this morning, there were only three. I noticed that too. Was the missing exosol taken by this third party? Had to have been. <laughs> Shuichi is getting warmer. How about you say the answer right now? Maki! Who did it? Who is this third party? The identity of the third party. The electro hammer gives us a clue. A huge clue. 
So, four exiles at the scene yesterday when I went to meet up with Kaido. This morning, when we were trying to get into the hangar, there were three. The culprit must have used the electro hammer between yesterday afternoon and this morning. There's only one person among us that I think could do that, and that is. Do -do 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 -do. Where is. There she is. Nope, right there. Maki! It's you! Maki, you're the third party we're looking for, aren't you? What? It's Maki? Yup. I mean, come on, you guys. Obviously, you didn't have the hammer. <laughs> what are you saying? Remember what Kokichi said. But be careful, the electro hammer runs out of battery pretty quickly. So if you use it against an exosol, it'll run out of juice with just one shot, got it? The electro hammer needs to be recharged for 24 hours after it runs out of battery. That hammer was used last afternoon, so it couldn't have been used this morning. And <laughs> who showed up with a knife? Right. When we were all gathered in the dining hall this morning... Maki, where's your electro hammer? <laughs> I don't need it. I'd rather not use a weapon I'm unfamiliar with. This is much better. Except it's not. It's a dead giveaway. <laughs> a knife? Well, I suppose you know best. <laughs> Maki was the only one without an electro hammer, wasn't she? Indeed she was. No Nothing that, to say. The electro hammer I found could only have belonged to Maki. And that leads me to the conclusion that Maki must be the third party. She also knows how to assemble the crossbow and could have returned it to her lab later. Yep. You brought a different crossbow than the one Kaito had, right? I'm sorry. Maki took two arrows and her own crossbow from her lab. So Maki, she are you our killer? Saw with an electro hammer and infiltrated the hangar. Now we just have to figure out what happened after. I'll kill your logic. Oh, will you? Why are you doing this? Because I need to. What? Why are you getting in my way? Because your way is wrong. Getting in your way, Maki. What are you? Yes, I'm the third party. Huh? I admit to going into the hangar with an exosol, and then shooting the crossbow. I didn't kill anyone. I'm not the culprit! I don't know what to think. We just need to figure out what's going on there. Crossbow, mirrors, large black case, electro bomb, poison. You're right. I used the electro hammer. And I used the exosol to enter the hangar, too. Ah, I also it. shot the crossbow there. However, I am not the culprit. Get because back here! The crossbow is not the murder <laughs> weapon. Oh no. So what was it? No so use, she's not listening to me at all. Can't back down here. You're right. I used the electro hammer. And I used the exosol to enter the hangar. I also shot the crossbow there. No, get back here! <laughs> However, I'm not the culprit. Because the crossbow is not the murder weapon. Okay. Advance. The crossbow is not the murder weapon? What do you mean? The arrows left holes in the clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. Yeah. They were on his arm and back. Yes. An arrow to each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. It should. It might. That's why the crossbow can't be the murder weapon. Therefore, I'm not the culprit. Okay, but yeah, there is a way. I don't want to think that Maki is the culprit. I want to believe her, but the way she's scrambling to defend herself. The left holes in the clothes. Yep. 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 That they did. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. Yep. An Electro arrow bomb. To those spots. Yep. Wouldn't result in a fatal injury. Except it would if it was poisoned. No, cut through your words. It wouldn't matter where the arrow hit if it were poisoned. Dun dun dun. Poison. I noticed something about the poison in my lab during the investigation. It was just a little less in the bottle than before. If that poison had been applied to those arrows, 
they would have been lethal no matter where they connected. Maki, do you have a rebuttal? What's the matter? Why don't you say anything? Don't tell me. Are you really the culprit? Give us your story, Maki. No way she is, because why would she kill Kaito? She wouldn't kill Kaito. She would, however, kill a Kokichi, wouldn't she? I can't understand if you don't explain anything. Maki is still fighting. Huh? Fighting? Do you remember that Maki said she would do anything to defeat Kokichi? Maki is trying to kill Kokichi in this class trial. She wants to kill the mastermind, a remnant of despair. So then Kaido, <clears throat> but the video that's still throwing me off. Because it could be. Oh, this is a toughie. Because <laughs> either Kaito killed Kokichi and she's helping him cover it up, but that's seeming less like what the situation is. Right now it's seeming more like she believed that Kokichi somehow managed to survive. And seven, that Kaito really is dead. And that's why she wants to use this to execute him, but they that's not how that would work. Sacrifice anything. She meant the sacrifice that Maki is talking about must be Maki's life, Shuichi's life, Kaido's life, all of us. It's all of us. She's willing to kill all of us just to kill him. <laughs> she plans to sacrifice all of our lives in order to kill Kokichi. Sacrifice us? Then by hiding the truth. Maki was trying to get us to arrive at the wrong answer. Just to kill Kokichi and the rest of us along with him? Doesn't that mean that Maki's the culprit? She knew what happened and tried to hide it from us. But that mischievous plan was ruined, all thanks to Shuichi here. Too bad, Maki. I already predicted this would happen. Hmm. You knew all along that Maki was the culprit. That's why you've been so calm. This isn't over. Hmm? Maybe we do have the truth now, but this isn't over. We need the full story. We have a choice to make. We don't have to follow where the evidence leads. What? Huh? What do you mean? Does this mean you're gonna vote for someone else, even if it's not the truth? Uh... Someone else? You mean vote incorrectly on purpose? So y'all down for a group suicide? <laughs> um What did you say? No, I don't wanna do this to them. I mean the world's over, but still Kaito told me that only I would be able to grasp what lies beyond the truth. That means finding the truth is not enough. We need to grasp the hope just beyond it. So Maki, please tell us the truth. The truth that only you know. So Kaito said that to you. Yeah. Um, does that mean you guys made up before he died? Yeah. Yeah. When I went to see him yesterday. I see. Okay, I'll talk about it. Especially since it's my responsibility for involving everyone. Yeah. Shuichi. You're so persistent. Were you always like that? I mean, a little. <laughs> You think so? Maybe Kaito's charisma is starting to rub off on me. That guy could be pretty stubborn. Then what really happened? Maki, please tell us. Please. And so Maki began telling the truth. A truth that would leave us all in shock. Hush, Monokuma. Don't just start naming yeah. things. You're ruining the mood. <laughs> well, I guess this turn of events isn't exactly boring either. Ah, uh, intermission. Oh well, that's where we'll have to cut it today. Yeah, I will. But, alright. 
Oh, this. This is crazy. So we are basically opting for creep suicide to kill Kokichi because Maki is claiming to be the murderer. I'm still not sure. The videotape thing is still bugging me. Like, that seems like too big of a thing to just, like, drop on us. Especially, you know, making the point of, oh, it has a play, pause, rewind, and all that on it. <sighs> it feels like... Or record, not rewind. <laughs> Whatever. All that, but... So it has to be one of two things. Either Kokichi killed Kaido, and then Maki killed Kokichi. No, wait. Couldn't have been Maki killed Kokichi because she thinks Kokichi's still alive. So it's either that Kokichi killed Kaido and Maki attempted to kill Kokichi, but failed. And is now trying to get us all to group suicide so that... Wait. No, that doesn't make sense either. Because Kokichi wouldn't have killed Kaido. No, then that leaves only one way about it, doesn't it? Because I have no doubt in my mind that there's no way that Maki would have killed Kaido. And we have clarified that they both shot each other, right? Like, that was confirmed, yes. I guess. But it was Kokichi Exosol, so don't know how much we can actually trust that. So we do know that Kaito was shot once with one crossbow that we know he received from Himiko. So that means that he probably attempted to attack Kokichi with it to actually disable him like he was saying and that but that wouldn't make sense either okay I'm trying to piece this together <laughs> from what we have so far so Kokichi shoots Kaido in the arm Kaido gets wounded then Maki comes in with two poisoned arrows and shoots Kokichi and Kokichi dies now I'm trying to think about this <laughs> cause that wouldn't work either cause then Maki would still end up survivor in that situation cause the blackened is the only one who could come out on top and if Kokichi had killed Kaido the Kokichi would be the black and it doesn't matter who else comes after and so and if Kaido killed Kokichi then Kaido would be the black end, but Kaido couldn't have killed Kokichi because Kaido only had one arrow And Seven, he got shot in the arm with it. I'm not even, like, comprehending the possibility that, you know, Maki might have accidentally shot Kaido. I don't see that happening, though. I don't see her accidentally killing Kaido. I see her going there for the express purpose of killing Kokichi. Unless Kaido did No, but Maki would have been the one with the poison. Unless she went ahead and pre-dipped all the poison arrows and they were, like, plotting this for a while. Uh, this is a tough one because <laughs> it's it has to be either you know Kokichi is alive and Maki accidentally killed Kaido and she believes that getting us all to vote for Kokichi will get us to like all max execute them him and that's one option or the other option is Kaido is still alive and Maki is pretending to be the black and to get everyone else to die except for Kaido I don't know this, this is a weird one we need more information I'm still thinking that Kaido has to be alive though because of the video 
it's like too big of a thing to just drop on us with that. But it is a complicated one. And as much as I ship Maki and Kaido and all that, I, I don't want everyone to die just for the sake of one of them surviving. <laughs> so it's a bit, it's a bit much. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to go hard on this next part of the trial. See what else we can find out. And Maki's saying that she's going to give us the truth, but we'll have to see if there's any holes in that story. So, until then, like and subscribe if you want to, and thank you for watching.